Hey guys, Tim the Blacksmith, welcome here. So last week I played around with InCanal and was blown away by how tough that stuff is to forge. And so what I thought, man, would this not make the best drift for making ax eyes? So we're gonna put this to the test today. I'm gonna make a drift and we're gonna see how good this stuff works. As always, welcome here. Thanks for being here. Let's get this video underway. quickly show you kind of what we're going for and what's going on. So this is an ax with just the hole punched in it. So this is used a slitter to get this hole in. That's what it's called. And then this is the finished eye shape here. So that's drifted. So how that works is you start the hole out and then you use these guys around here, these drifts. They're all different sizes for different operations through it. So we're gonna be actually making this one today because this one goes in here and then the hole is finished with this drift. But this is an example of what happens. This drift here, you can see that how thin it is right there. And that's because this is in the ax billet. And as you forge down on it, this is heated up and it gets compressed. All of them do that. This one you can see there. This is the one we're actually using. And this one, I just made this one and we've done about eight axes with it. And it's already thinned out. Now this is 1045. I typically make these out of H13. Nevertheless, the smaller axis is really hard because it heats up quicker because it's thinner. This one, look at this one. This one's just crazy. Anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the ink canal to make this part exactly like this. Then we'll heat this up. This will go in here like that. And then we'll hopefully get an ax like this. Now these are the Blackhawk hatchets. This is made from 1913. Serial number 04. And so we are finishing these up this week and hopefully these are coming available on Friday. They are available as pre-order if you want to secure one, but if uh, we have any extras that are not pre-sale, they'll become available this coming Friday. Shameless plug from Tim. I'd like to thank Sack and Metals for supplying me with this piece of ink canal. If you're looking for any of these types of materials, check them out. I'll put the link down below. I do not know how it is even that hard. That took forever to forge. Just gonna start grinding this bad boy. I couldn't do any like pre-shaping at the power hammer because this stuff is so hard to forge. So it, it didn't seem to cut too bad. So I'm pretty optimistic that grinding won't be too bad, but this is our first time doing grinding on in-canal. So we'll see how it goes. It grinds great so far. <laughs> Who would have ever thought? How could it be so hard at the power hammer and so soft now? So I'm gonna to continue to go and we'll see if it starts to work hard and on us at all or anything like that. And then it makes me feel now way more nervous about, you know, using it as a drift, the impact. Will that be able to withstand that or not? It's just really, really mentally messing you up this piece. So maybe you saw this earlier. I didn't catch this to just now. Look what we got forming on the end there. Huge crack, so that's not very cool. I have no idea when that happened. 
gonna assume on the forging. Maybe I got it too hot, worked it too cold. Don't know. I'm gonna keep going though. We'll see if they run really deep or not. We'll try to grind them out. I check the other end. So this end looks okay, which is great. That's unfortunately the end that is the skinny side, so it gets less impact. It doesn't look like they go super deep, so hopefully that'll be okay. Let's keep going. So this is the drift all finished up here, ready to rock and roll. So let's try it out and see how this works. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. So the first step is I'm just gonna take the billet, go into the upsetter here, run it through, and then we'll run the drift in. Let's see what happens here. The top is definitely mushrooming. That's interesting, hey? Look at that. That's so crazy. The top is mushroom. That's just with a three pound hammer and one push. So that, that's not great. Anyways, what I'm gonna do, we'll push it out We'll try it under the power hammer and see what happens. All right, here we go. Okay, so I show no mercy to that drift. I went full, full tilt on it. And um, the ax, like the blank just turned out beautiful. That's amazing. The big draw on the cheeks. The drift, I'm just looking to see it. Like, like first impressions are good. I do not see any, oh no wait, there's a little bit of impact draw. A little bit in here, but not very much. I got about four more ax blanks. I'm just gonna burn through them here and we're just gonna see how this thing handles it. Cause I think it's too early to say yay or nay. First impressions are pretty good though. Okay, so I've just done five of them, and I can tell you right out of the gate, you can forge that way faster when you hit with that drift in there. It feels like you're just impacting such a good solid material. I think that's because the ink canal is so hard. However, I am very surprised that I can see definitely some deforming on that punch or the drift. Not to say it's like not nearly as bad as H13, but still enough that I don't know if it's worth the cost of building it out of in canal. Now, I don't know if you can see that. You can see where there's fullered grooves from the dies hitting it. So I would say it would definitely wear out. Oh, is that a crack? Oh, it is a crack. No. 
Yes, for sure there's a crack in there. Interesting. That could be from when I, I did quench it, like kind of selective quench it to cool it off. Interesting. What a crazy, crazy material. Make sure I don't burn my butt on this uh, hot piece of steel back here. So where does that leave us, hey? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the rest of these axes through this week. I'm going to see how that thing handles up. I feel like right now I'm pretty blown away by how much it deformed already just in five axes. So cost analysis, I kind of think that the ink LNL is not going to be worth it. It's probably going to be worth it for me to just make up some dies to sort of do the rough forging on H13 drifts. And we'll just go through more, more of them than having like one really expensive drift, which is super unfortunate because I really like that material. I like how it grinds and that so hard to forging. It's really hard to believe that, but that is a hard application. Anyways, I could ramble on and on and on. Nevertheless, let me know what you guys think about this and any other projects that we should play around with this piece of Inconel. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and smash like stinking smash that subscriber button. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next wait. If you want to get an ax, I'll put the link down below to my website and bottle openers. We still got some of those as well. That's it. I'm done plugging. I'm done plugging everything. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> smooth, smooth as silk as always, right? <laughs> oh man, my leg is like hot from that thing right there.